be back in the house of the Lord this morning. We want to study just a little bit in the book of Ecclesiastes this morning in chapter 11. So we'll be back in the house of the Lord this morning. And Brother Larry says we don't need to live in fear. And uh, I come to see that every day I get a little older. Uh, there's no need to fear because the Lord's got everything under his control and in his hands. And, yes. uh, Amen. You know, we have to suffer a lot. Uh, that's uh, uh, something that Jesus did for us. Amen. And uh, I don't believe we'll ever suffer as much as he did when he suffered on the cross. Right. He died for our sins. And so uh, if, it's, if it takes suffering, why? Uh, we need to uh, ask the Lord to help us through it. And if, uh, and if we die suffering, uh, uh, it's just like uh, he was when he spoke to Stephen. He said, hey, come on up here. This, I, I, I recognize you, and, I, and I'm standing up for you. And so uh, we, have, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that's a great thing this morning to not have no fear. Cast your bread upon the waters is our uh, first line of our chapter 11 this morning. And <clears throat> so many people, I'm sure don't understand what the Lord is trying to say when they read these things. And there's a lot of it maybe that I don't understand, but I do understand enough of it to know that he's, he's telling us things that we need to do. And uh, when he says, cast the bread up on the waters, he don't mean to go down the common river and throw a biscuit. And that's, and I'm not trying to make any ha-ha's about it or nothing, but, uh, and that may be a little bit more uh, than a lot of people realize as it is, but the thing of it is, people does not understand a lot of the time what they're reading out of God's Word. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying here this morning, when he when he's writing to the, uh, when he's writing here, he says, cast thy bread upon the, uh, upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Now this morning, we want to look at just a little bit this morning about casting and about what he's casting upon and who he's casting it upon. And we see this morning that he's saying, first of all, cast thy bread. And thy bread this morning is, is something that uh, we can look at in different ways, but it's not only for cheer, not it's not only for food, but it's only for cheering, for forgiving, for telling people about their uh, needs and telling people how that they can serve the Lord and how the, uh, telling them about Him. And these are some of the things that the bread. Of course, we know we realize about the bread and the manna and all of this, and it it was giving life to those peoples. And it is a life to us, and it's a, it's a spiritual or a spiritual life. But he says, cast it up on many waters. And if you look over this morning in the book of Revelations, I believe it's in chapter 17 over there, it's talking about, uh, I believe it's uh, 17, 6. But he's talking about the waters here. And he, he gives an example of the whore sitting on many waters. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this this morning means that, that the old uh, Catholic Church the uh, the Antichrist uh, daughter, if you would, uh, is governing many people, and we know this morning that her teachings is is uh, is wrong. Her Amen. teachings are a, a, a deceiving thing for people, and they're going after it head over heels, and they're they're depending upon the church they're depending upon the pope they're depending upon so many things uh that uh, to get them to to heaven and and we we see even that this morning that they have a a place uh in the middle of where the soul goes when it dies hmm. and uh it's called purgatory or it's called a place or that they have to readjust where they make different decisions or they make a change somewhere preparing for uh, a better place. But listen, this morning, people, we know this morning that that's not right. Amen. And we this morning as God's people need to cast our bread, cast our understanding, cast our knowledge, cast God's word upon things like that, upon people that believe these things. Because listen, if somebody somewhere don't cast a word into their ears, uh, a lot of them 
a lot of them could be saved, and if they don't, none of them will be saved because for by the word is the only way that you can hear it Amen. and understand it this morning. And so he's saying here, he says that that these things are, are a necessity to us. And I want you to I wanna I want to read uh, something this morning to you <laughs> in the book of Deuteronomy, in the 15th chapter of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> 15 chapter of Deuteronomy chapter 7. Uh, verse 7, I'm sorry, 15, 7. And it's talking about, it's talking about in, in, in some way it was casting and giving. Uh, and, and this word of casting means to throw or to like uh, they even spread seed casting. And he says in verse 7 of chapter 15 of the book of Deuteronomy, if there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren were in any of these thy gates in thy land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou, thou shalt not harden thy heart nor shut thy hands from thy poor brother. Now think upon this, and he's calling him a brother, and a lot of, and, and people, people uh, can see this in one way of helping him uh, financially. But the thing of it is, so many of our poor brethren, and I'm saying this with a loving heart, so many of our poor brethren get to the point of discouragement. Mm -hmm. And listen, this morning, we as God's people need to cast a helping word to them this morning and to be a help to them, be an encouragement to them because uh, they need it just like uh, in the past you needed it and mm -hmm. I needed it. And listen, if you say you don't need it, then, uh, you know, that's wonderful if you didn't. But I guarantee you that everyone here, the devil has come to you. Mm -hmm. He's presented things to you. You've had troubles in your life and you're saying, why, Lord, and all of this. Listen, we need to understand that God knows all. And these people here, he's saying here, if, if you have a poor brethren, you should be in, in in with a great desire, have a great desire to help that brother. Amen. And here he says in verse eight, but thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him sufficient. And of course, we're talking about worldly things here, but listen, the same applies to spiritual things. And he says here, for his need in that which he wanteth, beware there that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seven years and the year of release is at hand, and and thine eye be evil against thy poor brethren, and thou giveth him not, and and he crieth unto the Lord against thee, and it be and it be sin unto thee, thou sh shall surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou givest him unto him because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works Amen. and in all that thou puttest thine hand upon for the poor shall never cease out of the land right. therefore I command thee saying thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother to thy poor and to thy needy in the land and you know he's saying here the poor shall never cease and people, that means not only the poor in worldly possessions, but listen, that means that ones is with, with, with the need of a spiritual help because we're not all on the mountaintop all the time. Right. And that's for sure. And he says here uh, that, <clears throat> let me read this again here. And thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy, in the land and, and 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 also this morning when you fail to do this thing god is not pleased with it amen and god will god will uh remind you of this through the holy spirit and uh things might be just a little bit more difficult for you than it would have if you would opened your hand and i'm sure it would so this morning he says in verse two of our of our lesson talking about this poor brethren and poor man, he says, give a portion to seven, also to eight. 
For thou knowest not what evil thou shall be upon the earth. For thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. And so this this thing of seven or eight, I think it don't mean, it don't put an exact figure or exact thing on what you're supposed to do to a brother or how you're to help a brother. But listen, you're to help the brother in the way that he needs it. Mm -hmm. And regardless of if it's if it's taking him to Nashville to, to see a psychiatrist or if it's just taking him down here to the dental store, dental place to get a, a tooth uh, uh, clean or something. Right. So listen, it, 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 you don't, I mean, you can't put a limit on what God does for you. Amen. And the same way with a, with a person this morning that's a brother to you, or even, I, I say this this morning too, and it, 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 it does say brother, but I say this to you this morning that a lost person, uh, you need to stretch out your hand also to him. So these are some of the things that I have seen in this. Uh, but he says here, uh, give a portion to seven and also to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall, shall be upon the earth. And Colossians 4, I'm going to read just a little bit to you this morning. Colossians 4, 1. Try to get a little bit more of this in here. Colossians 4 and verse 1, it says, Master, masters, plural, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Amen. And so this morning, when we do something to someone, listen, we we realize that, that we're we're obeying the master. And then this way, we are not afraid to say, Lord, would you please help me with this? Or would you please help me with that? Because listen, we've done what he says. Amen. And he's going he's gonna to repay. So he says, continue in prayer, in verse 2, and watch in the same with thanksgiving or uh, um, alertness or grateful hearts, with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of, and this is uh, the, Paul speaking, uh, a door of utterance to speak the mysteries of Christ for which I am also in bonds. Amen. And here, here he's saying this this morning, pray for us that we may have a door open that we can cast our bread to those that don't believe and those that have not heard of it that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak, walk in wisdom towards them that are without, redeeming the times. Amen. And let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, hmm. that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Amen. And this morning, I, I, I understand this about seasoned with salt. Sometimes we try to encourage someone sometimes we try to help someone and they'll fly right back with an off the wall something or another and listen we just have to bite our tongue and say no that's not the way it should be and i think this is one thing here the the the, uh, the knowledge of god's word if you'll just keep on talking to him with that it's a type of seasoning with salt so back in our lesson again this morning now <clears throat> here he says here in verse three if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And listen, uh, it's it's not really. Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 uh, I don't know how to really explain this, uh, it, it, except that uh, he's telling something that that actually happens, and that we uh, we should we should take notice to this when it does happen. So he says, if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. And so Amen. these are these are things this morning that we uh, we can take to uh, uh, and, uh, and try to understand a little bit. About, uh, but don't. Uh, uh, the, so when the, the casting of bread, when you cast in bread, don't let these things interfere with you. And verse 5, as thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how, how the bones do grow in the wound of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not 
the works of God who maketh all. And I think he's trying to tell us here about this, if the clouds be full and if the tree falleth, and he, he's saying these things, it's a, it's a certainty that the tree is going to lay right where it fell and it can't get up and move. And right. God's word is true and it's going, to, it's going to stay the same. So in the morning, in verse 6, in the morning, sow thy seed, mm -hmm. and in the evening, withhold not thy hand. And this 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 morning, I mean, hey, uh, if you need, if you have a desire to do these things, uh, and he says you sow uh, at the needed time, and it don't make no difference what time it is. If you don't have to, if you don't have to get up till ten o'clock, you sow in the evening. If you need to get up at four o'clock in the morning, you sow it in the morning. But anyway, you sow it. When you have the opportunity, you sow it when you think it's needful, when the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart to sow it. And listen, you can, you can sit all day long and the Lord will never speak to you concerning sowing seed. Then the next day you might be out there and it, 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 you'd be, be just uh, all day long talking about the Lord and telling people about him. So here, it, I think this is what he's, he's talking about here in the way. In the morning that sow thy seed and in the evening withhold not thy hand. For thou knowest not whether thou whether shall profit either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Truly, the light is sweet and a pleasant thing is it, it is for the eye to behold the sun. And we really this morning, you can say this morning that the light is sweet. The the knowledge of God, the knowledge of the scriptures, the it, it's sweet. And listen, the more, the deeper you dig into this Bible and the more you, you try to study, the sweeter it gets. And you, you understand so much more uh, from day to day. And sometimes uh, I just cannot uh, understand how good it is. Amen. And, and the thing that bothers me so much is that I forget. And uh, I, I try to go back and rehearse and, and get another blessing out of it. Uh, and, and but the thing of it is, it's 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 sweet and it's Amen. it's a it's a blessing this morning. Truly is the light is sweet and the, a pleasant thing. It is for the eye to behold the sun. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness. For they shall be many. All that come is vanity. And so he gives us a he gives us a thing here to to think upon. And and I, I know the the Bible speaks of the youth and when you serve God when you're young and all this. Well, it's the same way here. Uh, he's not promised us that the light would be forever uh, as as is in the body because I I, I think he's talking about. After we get old and after we don't understand, like I do uh, sometimes, uh, they're, 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 the, the light is not as bright as it, it was when back when I 35, 40 years ago. And but anyway, we need to take advantage of it because listen, Man. if I live to be a hundred, the light is brighter now than it will be then. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But here he says, but if a man live many years and rejoice in them all. Yet let him remember the days of darkness. And of course, days of darkness could apply to the years that you were without God. Uh, and, and you could you can go back to those things and see, remember how horrible they were or what this darkness might mean. For they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. And it's right. vanity, and vanity is vexation of the spirit. It's all in vain and, and all this that, that Solomon said about these things. But he says here, rejoice, O young man, mm -hmm. in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the way of thine heart, yeah. and in the sight of thy eyes. But know thou that for all these things, God will bring thee into judgment, or justice will be applied. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart, and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. Now, and, and you know, we 
the, these things should mean so much to us anytime, and, and he, he said rejoice on young man. But the thing of it is, it's not only for a, a young man to rejoice in this, but because, listen, he has a disability just like the old man. Mm -hmm. The young man has so many things going on and he's not seasoned real good to enjoy this. And an old man, he may rejoice in it, but he forgets it because he's old. But anyway, he's, he's wanting to He's wanting to encourage everybody. He's mm -hmm. wanting to encourage the young and the old. So here again is is a wonderful thing this morning that you can that you can uh, depend upon. So now he says, I want to go over in verse twelve just a little bit. Listen, remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while Amen. the evil days come not. And that is a that is a promise that evil days don't come like they do to the old man when his eyes gets weak and his hearing gets bad and his hair falls out and all of these things. But listen, uh, the thing, the main thing about it is is when his memory fails him. And uh, so here he says here he says while the evil days come not that's talking about the young nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Uh, other words, the, the young man is, is, is at the point, he's saying, hey, I'm gonna live for a long time. And uh, so, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keeper of the house shall tremble, and a strong man shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the window be darkened. And it's just it's it's just sitting it's just saying to the to the to us this morning, we're once young and then we get old. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the faults, the legs, the teeth, the eyes, the arms, and, and the eye, all this. We're getting there. And so while, we, while we're able, we need to serve the Lord. And Amen. Be pleased to do because one of these days, one of these days, we're not going to be able to serve Him. Right. Uh, like, we, well, like we want to. So here again, I'm going to keep just reading just a little bit more and I'll be through. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is not high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a bird, and desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, Amen. and the mourners go about the street, or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Mm -hmm. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. But I wanted to read this because, listen, during all of this time, during all of this time, in verse 1 it says, cast thy bread upon the water. Amen. And that is our, that is our, uh, should be our desire to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be our desire to serve the Lord closer or that we can understand more or that we can be bolder in talking to people about these things because uh it takes boldness sometimes to talk yeah. to some of these people but and uh i know brother king brother larry will learn it uh more so than uh we just as we go around uh trying to talk to people in the church you get some hard rocks out there <laughs> and uh satan uh satan he's he's done he's done uh got them hardened and uh so uh it's it's this is this is something that we should uh think upon about casting our bread upon the waters and uh hope that something of red 
would uh, were, were happy. Or, uh, uh, I got a whole lot more out of it studying than I did teaching it. But the thing of it is, uh, it was read. It's God's Word. Amen. Thank you all so much for your attendance and listening. Thank you. Mm -hmm.